I wish you the best in this amazing multicultural global brainstorming to solve and to bring new ideas how to deal with learning, with schooling, with education and with technology. If there is any justification for one learning space, I, I guess it's the encounter between different learners. Real learning is something that based on community and each one brings like an airplane, brings his learning experience from different places and different times to this common ground, like a terminal. We are leaving the terminal with new tools that we are going to use in our next opportunities of learning. Well, when we all went to school, we were just one of 30 in the class. We had a grade that says where we were against the average. Were we above average or below average? That's over. We can now, finally, wrap education around the learner. We can really individualise it. Once we've decided what it is we want to achieve through that learning space, then the next thing is to work out the, the infrastructure for the data that we're going to collect as people learn. Because that's going to be the core of being able to show people what they're achieving in that learning space. There is no average student. There is no student who's fast in everything, and there is no student who's slow in everything. So as we personalize that adaptive environment and really assess the, the credentials and the skills, then we're able to speed everybody up in a way that uh, is a beneficial result for all of society. Educators by nature are sharing people. Right? They want to share their knowledge. For this particular case, for a learning platform, being open uh, really works. And there are many, many, many tools of all different kinds and you will need some of them at some times and some of them at other times. And you need that kind of flexibility, I think. It really creates more value for everybody. Learners today have uh, the ability to connect between them. But now, learning by yourself just seems selfish. You figured out how to do something. You know how to do it. Being the one who knows how to do it and not telling other people is just being selfish. And so far more of the learning is happening in public as a public service. Use imaginary worlds in order to make sure that the issues being debated are not personally sensitive to any of the students. He told us that learning in the classroom is boring. He told us that he wants to work on real life problems. This game is actually about learning things that you can't learn at school. We create environments which is interesting for the students and then motivate them to, to build something or, or create something uh, digitally. And through this kind of process, they are learning. There's a real opportunity to break outside the boundaries of the 45 minute period. Use that natural curiosity to promote genuine inquiry. So, who are the winners? It was really, really inspiring for us, for me. So thank you very much, all of you, and see you tomorrow in Shaping the Future in Tel Aviv. This is the future. That's what we're focused on. We're trying to imagine the right learning environment to liberate the talents of young people.